so does Saturday, you all. My cat is running loose because we've been having cat problems. She has been getting fights with other cats around this neighborhood. I am in a good mood because uh, things have changed over um, the week. Um, they're a bit personal, but I'm feeling so, so very happy. And I've never felt less happy before. I'll tell you later what's going on, but not right now. You'll have to guess. And here's my soda. I got myself generic soda from Walmart. This will do. Dr. Thunder, like Dr. Pepper, only cheaper. Um, anyway, um, things happening in the news. Um, Joan River passed away, um, at the age of 81, like last week. Um, we'll miss her very much. Um, even though she said some controversial things and things that were very rude, she was a very funny lady. And let's t face it. It's very hard for a woman to make it in the business she is in. And she um, has paved the way for millions of women. So um, you gotta honor that. Even though you might think she might be, a, she was a snide little bitch, but she was a strong woman as well. And she was very honest. She said what was on her heart. And she was funny. I mean, a lot of bad things happened to her throughout her career, like her husband um, committing suicide. So I was not a big fan of what she said about the kids in Palestine, and I do not justify it. I thought it was very um, wrong for her to say it. Um, I guess now she'll never be able to take it back if she... Um, wanted to, but I thought that was crude. Um, but it does not mean I hate her. I admire her for many reasons, but that was um, out of line. But I'm not going to um, speak ill of the de dead. I guess the Soda Saturday really isn't as deep. It's kind of more like celebrity news. Sometimes we need to get away from depressing talks and um, focus on other things. And um, rest in peace, Joan Rivers. She's with Robin Williams, and that's pretty cool, um, hopefully. And also, um, there's going to be another royal baby. Yep, Kate and William are expecting baby number two so I'm pretty happy for them and I'm sure Princess Diana is there in spirit like she was at his wedding and his first baby um, it's kind of sad that she won't be able to be the gran uh, grandma in person because I'm sure knowing Diana she would be really really loving those little babies is that William has because um let's face it um they were pretty close when when William was growing up with his mother and um I don't know how it is with a mother but I feel for him because um I'm sure there's many things he wants to share with um Princess Diana that he won't be able to like um, having grandchildren, getting married, like, but I'm sure she's there in spirit, so, yeah, and Beyonce is having a baby, baby number two again with Jay-Z. It's like baby season, usually baby season starts around spring, but Beyonce is pregnant, um, Kate Middleton's pregnant, um, Jill Duggar, Jill Dillard 
um, from 19 Kids and Counting is pregnant with her first baby. Um, Jessa Duggar is getting married. There's like all kinds of cool things in the news. Pink Floyd's having a new album out. Roger Waters um, did a DVD for um, like a film festival and brought his whole family there. I mean, I didn't see India, but I saw his son, Jack, who looks just like Roger and Priscilla Phillips, and Harry and his wife, who wore a very interesting outfit. I thought it was like very youthful of Lori to wear. Usually, um, I try to say, keep my tongue bitten about that kind of subject, but they, right now, um, I think, you know, Roger's happy, so I'm going to be happy for him, even though it's not with me, because I just want him to be happy, and I know it might sound crazy, but Roger's happy, and they look like a cute couple for the most part, and I can't judge. So, yeah, I'm just, it's just been, um... A news full of happy news. Um, I'm sure there has been bad news um, and sad news like losing um, Joan Rivers but um, um, she's still there in spirit and even though she has passed away and that is sad she she's in a better place I think I hope and with all the births and marriages, it's just great. Um, and there's been sad news, like um, the 13th anniversary of September 11th, I think. Most Americans have not gotten over um, what happened that day, and I don't think um, most Americans will ever get over it what happened because so many people were affected by loss and anger and fear about going in airplanes or anything else and um and it just seems that Obama has been kind of a little let down I mean he's helped the LGBT people he's helped a lot of people that Bush has not helped and would not help so I gotta say good job for that but he's done a lot of stuff that Bush did do and it's sad because I voted Democrat because um, I wanted change and I haven't seen that change I'm not saying Obama is just as bad as Bush because in a way he's much better in smarter but um, when it comes to war he's not that smart so um, he's not as bad as Bush no one can be that bad um, but he's no Abraham Lincoln if you know what I mean so it's kind of a let down I don't hate him but shame on you Obama <laughs> um, he's much better than Mitt Romney was going to be so I have to admit that and Sarah Palin, no comment on her part. Um, but I just, you know, I get this, the, the politicians, they're not God, they're not perfect. Um, no matter what party they are, they're gonna make mistakes. And um, so I don't expect to ever, ever have a perfect president. So I guess I have to roll this up, but I just really like doing this, so bye.